Hi students, coming to next topic that is a state, identity and behavior of an object. So if you take any of the object, that object consisting of some particular state and its identity will be there and uh, it's a behavior what it is going to be do. Okay, so these are the basic terms that are uh, there for the object. So if you look around, we can find many examples of real world objects. So just like your book, your pen, your phone. So everything is called as an object. In object oriented programming, programs are viewed as collection of object. So in object oriented programming, programs are viewed as collection of object. So, if you take it as an object oriented programming. So, whatever the program that are present in, uh, in the uh, object oriented programming, they will be looked like is a collection of object. Object have, uh, these objects have three characteristics. So, there are three characteristics for the object. One is the state. Next is behavior next is identity so these three are the characteristics of the object so let us take one example suppose if you take a bank account so bank account as a class name so in this bank account you are having the object for a particular object sorry bank is the class name and bank account is the object so, for that particular object, you are having the state, behavior and identity. So, for this object, you are having the state, behavior, identity. States are nothing but ID, name, balance. So, these are all comes under the state of an object. For coming to the behavior of the bank account, what will be the behavior? The behavior may be the deposit of money, withdrawing the money, etc. So, the behaviors are the deposit, withdraw. Okay. Now, coming to the identity. What is the identity for the bank account? Suppose the hurry account is similar to Raghu's account. So, whatever the Hari account, that is similar to Raghu account, means both are using the saving bank account only. But, but, its state has different values. So, they are different in the state values. So, the Hari is using the saving bank accounts and the Raghu is also using the saving bank account. But its state has different values. So, if you take this, this Hari is having the different ID. It's a different name and the balance is different. At the same time, Raghu is having the different ID, a different name and the balance. Maybe the name and balance may vary, uh, may be equal. But ID should be compulsorily different for both the Hari as well as the Raghu. So, if you take it object that is a bank account for the particular bank account object this bank account consisting of state behavior and identity the states is nothing but the id name balance if you take a bank account the behavior for the bank account object is deposit withdraw means the operations that are performing you call it as a behavior identity means here, these two particular persons is having maybe the same account, but its state has different values. Now, let us see one by one. First, what is the state of an object? So, what do you mean by the state of an object? The state of an object consists of set of data value, data fields. It consists of set of data fields nothing but its properties 
with the current value so you have to be noted so whatever the data values that are there in the state it comes with their they will be updated with the current values that you call it as a state a state of an object consists of set of data values data fields with their current values the state represents the cumulative result of an object behavior the point you have to be noted is the state represent the cumulative results of an object behavior okay is it clear so this you call it as a state the state of an object is nothing but as a set of data fields with their current value the state always represents the cumulative result of an object behavior now coming to the behavior of an object so how what is the behavior of object let us see the second one is behavior of object the behavior of the object tells how an object acts and reacts so how an object acts and reacts in terms of state changes and message passing so if you are doing any state changes or if you are doing the message passing how the object is acting and reacting in the terms of state changes and message passing that you call as behavior behavior means changing something okay so if you are reading you got it okay you got that answer it's a behavior you read the answer and you get the answer and you are writing the exam means it's how an object acts and reacts in terms of state changes and message passing so the the behavior may depends on object current state so always the behavior is depends upon the object current state at what state it is there on that particular data values on that particular state of an object the behavior will perform so the few kinds of operation that a client may perform on an object so those few kinds of operations are first is modifier so the behavior of an object uh, is depends upon this different types of operations modifier modifier means it's nothing but alters alters the state of object so it changes the state of object then you call it as a modifier okay example so here i am changing the state of an object current dot set net worth to 25000 means here i am changing the value so it alters the state of an object is changing here the current is an object so his value is changing that you call it as a modifier so this is one behavior next is selector selector means access access the state of an object but does not alter so the selector will only access the state of an object but it does not alter it doesn't change the uh, state of an object it just reads whatever the state of an object that you call it as a selector example for this is just it reading the value age is equal to s dot get age it is getting the age and it is stored in the age so that is one behavior next is a constructor constructor is nothing but creating an object it creates an object and initialized its state so the constructor is helpful to create one particular object 
okay one person is it is creating and it is initializing its state also the current state what its state is that will be initialized by this constructor now next behavior is a destructor so destructor means destroys destroys an object so whatever the object that is created that has to be destroyed so whenever the object is destroyed it frees its memory the memory is free uh, i said only the object will hold stores the data uh, means the data will stored in the memory I mean it uses the memory space whereas class doesn't use the memory space because that is a logical element the class is a logical whereas object means it uses the memory so whenever the operation is over just destroy the object then it helpful for the another object to enter into that space so destroy an object means it frees its memory so this is these are the different behaviors of an object modifier selector constructor and destructor now coming to the third point that is the identity of an object so i discuss the state of an object then this is the behavior of an object next is the identity of an object so the identity of an object it identity here is that property of an object identity is that property of an object which distinguishes it from all other all okay so identity is that a property of an object so whatever the property of an object which distinguish it from all others okay it distinguish from all others here the every instance you have to note that here the every instance of a class has its own memory has its own memory to hold its state so that is the identity of an object it identity here the identity is that property of an object which distinguish it from all others here every instance of a class has its own memory to hold its state so whatever the particular person identity is there that holds the, the own memory so in the previous example hari is so one object here every instance of a class that is a hari instance of a class means object so here every instance of a class has its own memory to hold its state at the same time ragu so here this is a instance of a class okay this instance of a class has its own memory to hold its states so this is an identity of an object so this is about the state identity and behavior of an object thank you